Hi, welcome back. Welcome to day nine of gratitude journaling. So today I have been redoing my art room, trying to, well, trying to make my art room into a place that I can work in right now. <clears throat> and uh, it's been a struggle, I have to tell you. It has been a struggle trying to fit a lot of stuff in a small space. <laughs> Um, this was yesterday's art journaling page. I don't know. And the, the day before I did this one, uh, the day before this one was called Beyond Words. And I, after the video was over, I went back and I painted it red. I don't know why, because I felt like it. This was yesterday's art journaling page. The video quit in the middle of my first filming. So I got the second filming. So today I thought I'd do a film. I do, um, an art journaling page about trust and growth. I don't know about you guys, but I've certainly been going through my share of, of opportunities to have to trust, of opportunities to have to just, you know, trust where I am, trust the process, trust, trust all of it. So I think that's what the process is going to be about today, trust. And I had found some things that had been fussy cutting and I liked that, so that's what I'm going to use. I don't know what the page is actually going to end up looking like, but see as I go along and it doesn't have to be perfect so if you guys are journaling along with me and you're, you think you have to have like some incredibly perfect art journaling page please don't it's it's the process it's not even about um, the end result it's about the process so back to the trust and growth thing so you know I'm in the middle of doing my in the middle of, you know, trying to make my, transform my little tiny area in my bedroom into my art space. And I don't know, for those of you that are new to me, um, my name's Shelly, I live in Hawaii. And I'm very lucky, I'm a very proud mom of three daughters. And two of them are, one of them's in college, one of them's grown and married and is not a, is out of college and then one is 12 but for right and I live in Hawaii and for those that are new to my channel um, I live in a really small space so my art room was I've moved my art room it's had so many incarnations and it always puts me through changes every time that I have to have deal with a new art space because my house is so small and I like you have accumulated stuff so it makes it difficult sometimes when you've accumulated stuff to make space. So I've been letting go of a lot of stuff, which has been really good for me. And, you know, just focusing on keeping what I really am going to use for the moment. But it's put me through a lot of changes. And it's put me through just, I don't know, some, some feelings about letting go and growing and I don't know, I feel like this whole month has been a real month for me of transformation and of change. So, you know, that it's been sort of like I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. Normally I would use glue stick, but I think the glue sticks that I have here are, like, done. So I'm just using some wet glue that had came in a really big bottle that I'm trying to, um, I'm going to use. So, I don't know. Sometimes I handle change easily, and sometimes I don't. And I don't know about you guys, but, you know, you can pipe in in the comments and let me know how you handle change. So, you know, initially when my oldest daughter, she and her husband were living in Asia for a while, and now they're back, and I think they were going to head to Greece, and, and some things changed with his job, so I think they may be heading back to Asia. I don't know. But I've just tried to go with the flow. And because my house is small, I took whatever the little art space that I was using before and I made it into a makeshift bedroom for them. And so, and I also had company. I mean, I went through a lot of changes with this whole art space. So, you know, that, that little art space was my Zen space. So now I'm using my just a little corner of my bedroom. I mean, my bedroom's small too. Thank goodness I have a really understanding partner who also makes art, so he's not 
He doesn't get really upset about my ridiculous messes. But I don't like it, you know? So I've had to trust the process. I've had to, like, trust the process. I've had to trust that I'm in the right place doing the right thing. I've had to trust. Trust, 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 trust. So, you know, today in the middle of my going through stuff, I've just, I've had to release, like, all of this, um, all the ideas of what I thought that I needed and just focus on what I think I'm going to use for the moment, trusting that whatever I do let go of will come back. Like, whatever I choose to let go of will come back if I need it cool about this pilot pen and I don't somebody asked me what it is I don't know I'll try to look it up the next time I go out um, to the little store where I got it one side is black one side is gray one side is really fine tipped and the other one's like more like a brush and I like it so talking about trust so today's journaling is about growth and trust so And it's really trust in the process because this whole thing has been just an, it's been a crazy fun ride, but it's also been, you know, I didn't used to think of myself as a person that was stuck in their ways, but I guess there are certain things that I really do, you know, focus on or like the tradition of or the, the everyday occurrence of the, the reoccurrence of it all. So this is definitely not putting me in my comfort zone constantly having to let go of things and with that comes, I don't know, lots of different things. So, but the best part about it for me in this writing in this gratitude journal is it's making me focus on each day is like, sort of like what the main theme of the day is, you know, and, and I've been watching myself and sort of standing outside of myself as an observer and I'm seeing that there's a definite theme running through all of it, letting go and trusting in the process. So I'm going to write about that today. Um, Okay, here's my process today. Trust. 
Take a moment to enjoy the birds singing, the cool breeze blowing, taking comfort in these small daily happenings. Change is so present for me at this moment, at this time. Evolve, let go, trust in the process, looking forward to the next moment, growing and opening to the newness. Not always comfortable, but definitely, definitely what's going on for me. Well, I hope you guys join me on this little journey of gratitude journaling and reflecting. I'm grateful you're on this journey with me. Thank you for your kindness, your support, your friendship. And thank you. Thank you for taking a moment to, to share yourself. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha.